Now that we've seen the relationship between point, line, and fancy line using inheritance, let's investigate the relationship between these uh, other classes, uh, circle and cylinder. I'll double click here on circle, which will take us back to our source code. Uh, we left off on fancy line and scroll down to look at uh, the class circle. So here starting on line 56, class circle is built using composition. A circle contains a center point and a radius. Once again using center as an instance variable of class point uh, defines composition. So using composition when it comes to writing the constructor on our class circle we simply pass it two arguments a point and a radius and we simply assign on 63 here uh, the point object passed in as a parameter to our instance variable center and uh, similarly assign the radius a value as well. We also write another method that's useful on circles uh, called get area. The area of a circle is simply uh, pi r squared and so that gives us the area of the circle. And in order to test that our circles are created properly, we also write a two-string method for circles, which simply announce the circle has a center point and a radius. Since center is of type point, it will invoke the two-string method on class point in order to give us the xy coordinates of the, the center of the circle. I'll scroll down here a little bit uh, past our last class cylinder and take a look at main. Uh, in main, we're going to create a circle called unit, a unit circle centered about the origin with a radius of 1, and print that out. In order to uh, verify that this works, we'll recompile our code, make sure we get a clean compile down here from JGrasp, and then go ahead and run the output to see how it looks. So now we get these lines of output and the last line comes from our new circle. A circle with the center at the origin with the radius of 1 is our unit circle. As a last example here, we'll take a look at a class cylinder. Class cylinder is based on class circle. So a cylinder has a circle as its base and a height. A cylinder is a three-dimensional object and uh, we'll still do uh, a, a 2D uh, rendering of it uh, later when we get to draw with uh, the drawing primitives. But a cylinder uh, is going to use composition to encompass a base circle and a height in order to uh, establish those two properties. So we have the two instance variables defined here on lines 83 and 84 and then our constructor starts here on line 86. To create a cylinder, we pass a circle object and a height and simply assign the circle object to our base instance variable and uh, the height. Along with cylinders, volume can be measured and volume is just the area of the base circle times the height. So here we're showing an example of uh, using another class, the base uh, circle object to get the area in order to help us uh, compute the volume of the cylinder. And then lastly we have our two string method here for our class cylinder which is simply going to return uh, the base output from our previous circle class and add a height to that and announce that that forms a cylinder. So as a final test let's remove our last comments here from main so we can test cylinder creation. We'll create a cylinder called a can that has a base uh, around the unit of uh, the circle we created earlier and a height of 4.225 and print that out and see what kinds of results we get. We'll recompile our code just to make sure everything compiles properly and we'll go ahead and run our program output now. And now we see all the lines of output from all of our code here. Uh, a circle with a center at the origin with a radius of 1 and a height of 4.225 forms our cylinder. 
as a suggestion to see uh, how things are coming with composition and inheritance on your own work, we could uh, modify class cylinder to use inheritance rather than composition to hold that base circle. So a good exercise would be to rewrite cylinder and extend the class circle using inheritance rather than the composition we have here on line 83 and then use the self and uh, super objects uh, super to invoke the constructor and the parent and also the super object if you wish to send a message to your uh, parent object uh, can be used just like we used uh, them for point and class line. So I'll leave that as an exercise to the viewer to try your hand at inheritance and composition.